it's Hori here today and I'm starting a new project and I wanted to kind of give you a little intro and also to start working on it a little bit. Um, I enjoyed my December daily project so much that I've decided for the year of 2017 to kind of do something a little different. I've decided each month I'm going to pick a different project um, and it's going to be a mini album or an album that I can make and do all in one month and they're not necessarily going to be like a month of January or a month of February but a different kind of theme project each month and I might do more than one if I get the project done quickly or I might do just one. I think the reason I really wanted to do this was because I really enjoyed December Daily so much and I like having a project that you start and finish in one album and I just really love the process of creating mini albums and theme projects, so that's what I want to work on this year. So I've decided that my project for January is going to be in this album, and this is a black and white polka dot album that came from Felicity Jane. It's got these super cute little metal tips on the edges. It's two inches wide and it did come in the Hello Christmas kit um, and it came with this really cute little black ribbon just to hold it together so that when your pages start getting bigger and bigger and bigger it'll hold it all in together and I'm gonna put my January project in here so I've decided my January project is going to be like call I'm gonna call it love letters or something like that. And what I want to do is I want to create pages about the people in my life that I love the most. Um, family, friends, my puppy, I don't know, just the people who I love the most and the things that I currently love. And I just want to create a whole album just on those things. It kind of is similar to Stacy Julian's um, Library of Memories, how she has an album set aside for people, people they love, or I think, I think it's like places you go, people you love, or something like that, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what the different albums are. I've never even taken that class. But I've heard so much about it, and I like the idea of having an album all about like the people that you love and just focusing on those people and creating a whole album dedicated to just like writing them a love note or like a, a dear Courtney or dear Bernie, here's all the reasons why I love you. So I'm just gonna, in today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the project, but as I do that, I'm gonna create the cover page and um, decorate that and then I'm also going to add something to the spine too just for a little pizzazz. So I decided I wanted to use this gorgeous um, acetate and I think it's from Pink Paisley. It's a design by Paige Evans I'm pretty sure and I'm just going to cut that down so it can go in my album and I'm not going to put it in a page protector. I'm actually just going to put it in front of the book and punch some holes in it. So I'm cutting it down so it's the same size as the page protector. And I'll definitely save these extra pieces. They can be used later in the album probably or somewhere else. So my hope for this project would be to highlight I originally was going to do it in February because February is the month of Valentine's Day, but I just wanted to get started. I didn't want to wait, and it was what was inspiring me, so I was like, why not just create what's inspiring you rather than waiting till February because it seems like a better month or whatever. So my plan was, because I was going to do it in February, to document 28 people and things that I love. I don't know if I'll do 28 or if I'll just go until the book is full or maybe I'll do 31 because there's 31 days in January. But my plan is just kind of to create different pages during the month of January that I can put in this album all about the people, the places, the things um, that I love. Now, I know I'm going to have some people asking me this so I want to just answer it while I'm working on this. 
Um, I am planning on still doing regular pages, as in like regular Project Life pages and regular December daily pages, but I probably just won't be doing as many because I want to focus on this like theme projects. And all of these theme albums aren't necessarily going to all be in um, mini albums. Like some of them might be in full 12 by 12 books. So you will see regular layouts and stuff like that, my normal size. And I'm thinking instead of doing Project Life, what I'll do is just do like a monthly page, like one page using the Project Life Square just to kind of sum up the whole month. That's the plan, but I guess we'll just see how it, it works out and depending on how many photos I have and stuff like that. But right now, my my desire is to try to make one finished project or theme item a month. That's the plan. And... Um, I'm going to start with this one, which is going to be like love letters to the people I love or whatever. So I love this vellum. Isn't that gorgeous? So I've just punched the holes in there and I'm going to stick that in there. And I think what I'm going to do is put a page protector behind it. Like this that just has white cardstock in it and put that right behind it because I don't really want to put anything crazy behind this. I just really want this, this acetate to shine through. So I'll do that. And then I have this like gorgeous acetate cover and then I can start making my pages. So I did grab out a, um, this amazing alphabet. It is printed chipboard letter stickers and the font is called Page and I believe it's from Paige Evans' first collection with Pink Paisley. So I thought my title could be XOXO and the reason I thought that that would be kind of cute is because if you follow me on my blog I always write XOXO like I'll say I'll write my post and then at the bottom I'll put XOXO Tori like hugs and kisses and I think what I'm gonna do is on all the pages I create I'm gonna try to create um, a pa like a letter to the person that I'm thinking that I love that I'm writing about and I'll finish it with XOXO Tori because that's just I, that's how I like to finish my letters anyways so and so I think the title on this acetate, I want it to just say XOXO. Just try to, I think I'm going to put it on this piece of cardstock instead of just on the acetate because I think I'm afraid it, I'm just afraid it's going to um, fall off. And they are sticky, but I'm just going to add a little extra glue just to make sure it works well. So this project is kind of inspired by a couple of things. It's inspired by the fact that I just love mini albums. It's also inspired by Stephanie Bryant, who did like a different mini album every day, every month of the year, a couple of years ago or last year. And it's also inspired by kind of December daily. And I'm not gonna be doing daily like I did in December, but it's inspired by that because I just love the idea of creating a finished product or finished project at the end of the month and looking back and being like, wow, I made that and I finished it. I think one of the things that I've been kind of struggling with, with like how I was scrapbooking last year and the year before was that like I was creating, but I was mostly doing it chronologically and you never get done. Like you just, you just keep creating and creating and creating and you never finish. And I love finishing projects. Just the sense of like accomplishment you get when you like finish a product and you can put it on your shelf and say like, I did that and it's done. It's just such a good feeling. So it just says XOXO and that's really cute there. 
I like that. And then one of the things I was thinking I might want to try to add are one of these Take Me Away bows. Um, so they're from the Take Me Away collection by Pink Paisley and Paige Evans. And they are bows. And they, they're they kind of like felt bows, I guess. Maybe like pleather. I don't know what you call it. And I, I purchased these bows because I just think they're adorable and I love bows. But also because they're by Paige Evans and like I love that girl. I could, I want everything she makes. And I think it would just be really cute to have like a bow right there. That's so precious. So now to just decide which color. Maybe pink. Or the purple is really pretty. Okay, actually I like the first one I added, this one. That's super cute. And I think I'm gonna add it on the acetate. So I'm just gonna add a little extra glue, line that up and glue that on there. And so it is a little bulky, but that's okay. I, I think the pages in the album are, there's not gonna be that many pages and they're gonna be slightly flatter, so. It'll be okay if there's like a bulky item on the front cover. So then you can flip that and the next page will just say XOXO because that's how I'm going to finish all the letters. There you go, XOXO with a super cute bow there. And then the one thing I wanted to finish off is I'm not going to decorate the spine per se, but I did take a hole punch and I punched a hole there because I really want to add one of these super cute tassels from Maggie Holmes for crepe paper. And I'm just going to add one of those super cute tassels right there in that hole that I had added. And I already picked one out. I just think that this burgundy one would look super cute there. And then I can just kind of attach it to the hole and it'll hang down. And then when it's in your, when it's in my room, or whatever it'll just hang down like that on the spine it'll look super cute so I'm just gonna add that there we go it's super easy to add I just added the hole pretty close to the top so it would work and just stuck the tassel in and it just kind of hangs down I hope you guys can see that it's super cute and I think that's that's all I'm gonna add I don't think I'm gonna decorate the cover I'm just gonna add the tassel and then when you open it up, you'll have this really cute XOXO page, and then you'll be able to flip through the different love letters to the people that I really care about. And I will leave this little black ribbon on the outside. Anyways, that's it for me today. A little overview of my creative process or creative ideas for 2017. A little overview of this new XOXO project that I'm starting. And I hope that you'll follow along. I actually think it would be really fun if um, other people were like, oh, I like that idea that Tori's doing and also did it. So if you want to join me and create a mini book or an album or a six by eight album or a junk journal or whatever this month in the month of January um, about love letters to just the people and the things and the places that you really love and care about. And uh, if you want to follow along, I'd love to see what you create. So um, if you do create something, make sure you send me a message or tag me on Facebook or Instagram so I can check out your XOXO album for January. Have a great day. Love you lots. Bye.